Hey everyone, it's Allison here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a duct tape purse like this one. Now, the video I'm going to be making is not going to be as large as this one, but in this video, um, I'm going to be showing you like the kind of mathematics around it, I guess. So this is how you determine what size purse you want, and um, basically how to size each piece. So first off, I'm going to tell you that uh, my purse is 12 inches by 12 inches on the two large sides and then it's 6 inches by 12 inches but I had to change it to 5 because it was like 3 sixes in a row and that kind of creeped me out but anyways um, so mine's 6 inches by 12 inches but on here I just put 5 so yeah and these are really the only pieces that you need to make in the whole like purse making adventure that you're going to be taking on so uh, basically what I did on here is show you how to size up your purse any way you want it. Now if you're starting with a square, two square large pieces for the sides, then um, here's what you do. So for this example, I use 5 inches by 5 inches as our square. And then our three middle pieces were 5 inches by 3 inches. And I got that because you're going to need one middle piece as the bottom, which needs to be the same length on its sides as the length on the large squares. So that's why it had to be five inches long. Now the width you can mess around with and say, so I just kind of thought three inches would be a good width. <clears throat> if you want it more boxy, then you'd probably go with four inches or maybe even five inches if you wanted to make a complete square. So then uh, what you do, when you connect these th two pieces to the middle piece, this connecting piece needs to be the exact same size. So the width of all three of these will be three inches. And since these side pieces need to connect to the five inch side, they also have to be five inches. So basically what you want to do, you want to make sure that wherever you match up the pieces, it's the same size. So that's basically how it works. Now if you decide to do a rectangular, two rectangular side pieces, it's basically the exact same thing except your, uh, these three pieces won't be the same size. So here's how you do it. So for my rectangular pieces I chose um, I chose 7 by 12 and so what you need to do, since so since these are two 7 by 12 pieces the middle piece has to be 12 inches long because it needs to connect here and here and these two sides are 12 inches. Now for the middle, again, I just kind of thought that 4 inches would be a good size so I put down 4 inches, so this piece I put down is 4 inches by 12 inches. Now since this piece needs to be connected here and here, then these two uh, pieces need to be 4 inches wide to match up with this one. So that's why they're 4 inches here and here. Now these pieces need to match up with the sides that are 7 inches. So that it's 7 by 7, like this little corner is. So that's why these pieces are 7 inches. Because when you fold these up, these will be connecting, and then these will be connecting. So that's basically how it goes. So I hope this video kind of made sense. And this is really how to determine what size purse you want. And once you figure out like what the two large size you want, that, that's how you determine um, what the other three sizes should be. So um, also, I just want to say, if you do make a larger purse, make sure you have around three or four rolls set aside to make this purse. Because my larger purse, I use three kinds of duct tape. But um, I ran out, I used two rolls of each color almost. So if you do woven, it does take a lot more tape than a non-woven. But, <clears throat> I mean, it looks better, so. Yeah, also, I know this video is kind of like really early in the morning, but I just took my medicine and I just can't sleep, so, yeah. I hope this helped. The next video will be on how to weave your purse. So, that's it. Bye.